Hi all and uh, welcome back to this small help video. Today we are going to talk about overheating devices. Have you ever experienced your device getting way too warm or hot or even getting a warning that your device is too hot? Well then have a look at some of these tips and tricks that I will go through in this video. Well, the first of, of it is, of course, overheating devices can, of course, be a reason because you are having your device in the sun. I have used my iPad or iPhone or whatever device in the summertime, and I'm sitting outside and the sun is shining and it's warm and it's nice. But at some point, my device actually gets that hot that it actually more or less turns down itself. Or at least you get a warning that the device is too hot and it can actually be damaged and uh, that the device will shut down itself. So of course, take your uh, device out of the sun, uh, put it in the shadow or somewhere cool, uh, just to make sure that the device is not damaged and especially the different components inside your uh, device is not getting uh, damage. So uh, that is of course the first one, but if you're using an app and your uh, device is getting hot and you don't understand why, then of course make sure that you uh, turn down all or close down all your uh, apps. Just make sure that that one is closed. A lot of uh, times it is of course when you're using uh, apps and especially a games app, uh, like Roblox, whatever game you play, then your device can actually get quite uh, hot because of the graphics that is in your game. Graphics uh, use a lot of resources on your iPad and that can actually make it quite warm. So uh, make sure to close down your uh, apps. And uh, I would also recommend you to uh, make a reboot of your device. Hold down your power button and you should get a power off experience like this and just uh, uh, turn it off and make sure to clean the memory and, uh, and all that. Uh, I often recommend people to reboot their devices each day or at least every second day. Uh, just to make sure that they have a clean and fresh memory. Next thing you can uh, have a look at is of course uh, looking at your settings and going into general. And in here you can also have a look at your iPad storage. And in here you can get an overview of how much free uh, space you have on your device and uh, how much each app actually uses of of space so that is also a recommendation from my side have a look at that if you are getting close to having used all your uh, storage on your device that can also be a reason that the, your device starting getting slow and sometimes that is also the reason why your device is getting hot so uh, make sure to clean up old uh, devices or not devices, but uh, old apps. And as you can see up here, offload uh, unused app. Uh, my app uh, Apple actually uh, makes some suggestions to what can actually be done. But uh, go through your apps and make sure to clean up and have enough space free. Next thing up is of course to uh, also have a look at uh, your charging devices or charging different charging uh, cables and even the charger itself. So uh, I have uh, three different charging uh, uh, chargers here and as you can see this is for this one that I have uh, here. Uh, this is the newest iPad I have and the charger is looking like this but uh, my older iPad the charger is looking like this and this is for my iPhone. So you probably know yourself, you have different uh, chargers. Sometimes you just use the one that is just at your hand. I would recommend always to use the one that came with your device because if you are charging an iPhone 
with an iPad charger, you are actually giving it too much power. I know somebody uses that because it is charging way too, uh, way faster than uh, the one that came with your iPhone. But uh, sometimes we actually see that uh, this can cause overheating of your devices and in some rare situations actually causing that your device is getting broken and damaged. So uh, make sure always to use the one that came with your device. That is a reason for overheating as well. Um, so uh, make sure that you get the correct power into your device so it can charge as it is supposed to do. All right. Last thing is also have a look at uh, your apps. Sometimes apps uh, can actually have some bugs in them. You know that from all kinds of software that you use on your laptop, iPhone, whatever device you're using. And sometimes uh, it is a good idea to uh, make sure that uh, things are working as expected. And in, in that uh, reason, and for that reason, it is also a very good idea to look at the background app refresh because apps that is not working as expected and having bugs in them, and if they are running in the background, you will actually uh, sometimes see that uh, this can cause overheating. So sometimes when I get a uh, device in and I look at it, I actually turn background app refresh off for all uh, apps just to debug and find the, the cause of the error. But uh, sometimes that can actually be a good uh, way to figure out if it is actually an app that is causing the problems. So uh, that's uh, always a good idea to uh, have a look at the background app refresh settings. And of course, as you can see, more or less all my apps are actually able to refresh in the background. That is actually not necessary. I don't have any issues with performance or my iPad getting warm, but uh, that can actually uh, be some of the reasons for, for that. So uh, have a look at, uh, at this and uh, try to turn it off for all apps at some time. I guess uh, that's more or less it. It is also, of course, a good idea to have a look at your uh, apps. And if you experience apps really working badly or just closing down on you or whatever reason an app, maybe a reinstall of the app can also be a good reason. Simply just go to your app and uh, delete the app and install it again from the app store. Sometimes that can actually uh, also cause the overheating and fix the overheating as well. So uh, make sure to delete your app and install it again. That is also a very good way to get rid of uh, buggy uh, apps not working as expected. So uh, that's uh, all for me today. I hope some of these tips and tricks really could uh, help you out. Make sure to have a look at your chargers. And of course, if you are using games and playing games on your device, that can a lot, a lot of the times uh, be the reason for overheating. And especially the graphic heavy apps and games can have a lot of problems with uh, getting overheating because it uses a lot of resources. So uh, hope you found what you were looking for. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I really appreciate that.